So it's an exciting day for us here at Silva Health in Danville. We've been working for several months um, for receipt of this vaccine. It's in a specially packaged box to be able to keep it safe and protected. Um, so thanks to a whole bunch of employees and staff and physicians who have made this day important, um, it allows us to begin vaccinating our healthcare workers. Today we start with our own healthcare workers. Um, it's being shipped directly from the manufacturer and we'll use it here in our pharmacy for our employees. Quickly, as more vaccine is made available, then it'll go out to other healthcare workers in the community, frontline workers, and then to the community in general. Our vaccine continues to be the best opportunity we have to knock this, uh, this virus back. Um, mostly we've been able to treat people, but this is actually allowing us to go on the offensive and help reduce the spread of this virus. So today we're receiving about a thousand vaccines. That's uh, one per individual. Um, it's a two dose vaccine, so we'll give all of those out for the first thousand. More will be coming. Um, and then we'll get our second dose in about uh, 21 days, three weeks, we'll get a second dose. We have several people who have been very involved in this vaccination. It's very important to be vaccinated. There are a lot of concerns about the vaccine and that it has a negative impact, but the studies have been inclusive. Um, several minorities have been included in the, in the research as well. So um, this is a vaccine to help us be safe and protected. Um, we'll still need to wear masks, um, we still need to be socially distant, but this vaccine will allow us to build up immunity uh, against the, the COVID virus. And many ask as far as fears in taking this vaccine and how do we know it's safe and how do we know that you know, this is our next step forward. And to be honest, this is one of the most researched vaccines of all the vaccines that have ever been released. When we talk about vaccines in phase three trials, on average, that tests 33,000 people in a phase three trial for a vaccine to go to market. These vaccines have been tested of 150,000 people and that number increases every day. This and many other factors are what weigh into my decision to make a step forward and take this vaccine and I encourage everyone to consider vaccinating. So many people have questions as to if they've during this year suffered from COVID-19, should they get the vaccine? The CDC and the FDA have been really clear with research, noting that if you have um, been diagnosed with COVID-19, you do in fact need the vaccine. You have a short period of time of about 90 days where you are partially protected from COVID, but that does not last. So we would recommend patients get this vaccine so that they would have more prolonged protection. As an ICU nurse at Sova Danville, we have experienced devastation from COVID since March of 2020. We have had patients, young and old, to pass away from this horrible disease that I believe we are going to beat. Now we are on, we have an offensive mood. We've been playing defense since March, and now we have something proactive to do rather than reactive. I think it's important that everyone, if they qualify, if they are able to get this vaccine so that in the near future, we will be able to beat this.